Hello everyone. Welcome to Harris BI. This video is about dynamic column and measure names. I'm going to show you how you can dynamically set a title or header of a columns and measures. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button to get the latest updates on Power BI. Let's consider this scenario. I am trying to show brand name, color name and class name wise total sales. I have splitted the total sales into different columns. Basically user wants to see last 3 months of sales plus current month sales. So that's the reason I have created uh, 4 different columns current month sales, last month, last month minus 1 and minus 2. So basically this is showing January 2023 sales and this is December 2022 and then this is November and then this is October. Right, when we go to next month so current month sales is going to refer February 2023 and this is January 2023 December and then November so it is going to be dynamically changing so that's the reason I have given a generic name so uh, whenever we move forward when we go to next month it is always going to represent last month right so this will be helpful for business users but uh, in case if you are able to give a proper month and year then it will be more easy for business users to understand what uh, these measures are Right, so that's what we are going to cover uh, today. I'm going to show you how you can dynamically change the uh, measure names with the help of field parameters. If you see here, these are different measures that I have created. Current month sales, last month, minus one and minus two. So I'm going to create a field parameter and I'm going to include all of these measures. Then I will show you how you can rename this uh, measure names dynamically. If you are new to field parameters, so this is one of the latest feature from Power BI. I have created a video for field parameters and another use case. I will leave the link in the card button as well as in the video description. You can go and check it. To create a field parameter, you need to go to modeling, go to new parameter and choose fields. So I am going to choose a name. Let's say I am going to call this as a dynamic fields. Then I'm going to choose those uh, measures, current month sales, and then last month sales, last month minus one, and then last month minus two. I don't want to add this as a slicer. Then I'm going to click uh, create. So when I click create, it's going to create a new uh, table, basically a DAX table, and this is the syntax for the table. Now we created the table, you can see the values, current month sales, so these are different columns that we have selected or measures that we have selected and this is the order. Right? Let us try to uh, use this field parameter, so let us try to remove uh, these, uh, these individual columns, so we don't want this column, since we have added all of this in field parameter, let us directly use the field parameter. So I am just uh, uh, going to the field parameter table and I am adding here. Now you can see you got the exact result current month last month last month minus one and last month minus two sales but what we are expecting it should be january sales december sales november sales and then october sales to change the column name dynamically you need to go to the field parameter table and uh, go to the syntax so instead of hard coding this value here you need to specify the dynamic names Right. So here uh, when I say dynamic you need to say like uh, so we are going to say today. So today is a function that will give you a, a today's date. To test it you can just start with today itself. You can see this is printing today's date. You will see here it is showing today's date. But what we need a month. So we can take a month from here. So we can use uh, format and then uh, we can format it in a way it prints the complete uh, month and also we can add uh, uh, the uh, name it will say sales okay now let's execute this you can see now this is uh, printed as January sales if I go here it is showing January sales so now we got whatever we need we can do the same for all of the other columns. I can go here. I can still change this uh, with the January 2023 20, sales. But yeah, if we want, we can still add a uh, uh, year of this today and then we can get uh, 
uh, add and we can get the year and then add it in this uh, syntax. Let me just leave as uh, January sales itself. So to change this, so this should show the uh, December sales, December 2022 sales, right? So we can use uh, maybe end of month, end of month uh, based on today minus one, and then so here again we need to use format, format of this. And then we can uh, append uh, the sales. Okay, now you can see this is showing December uh, sales. Yeah, we still can add December 2022. But let me leave as like this. Okay, now let us change this. So this is just uh, November and then this is going to be October. Minus three. So now we change the uh, names. So this is always going to be dynamic. So whenever we set up a schedule refresh, this table will be updated with the dynamic names. You can go here. You can see this is showing January sales, December sales, November sales, and October sales. Now this is more uh, sense for business users to understand these individual uh, values. Okay, this is how you can change your measure names dynamically. You can still use the same method in case if you're adding any dimensions or a calculator column into a field parameter that also can be changed with the dynamic names. And uh, most of the time we'll be creating uh, time intelligence based measures like for example, uh, YTD, MTD in case if uh, that is going to be specific based on the current year, we can still uh, uh, still use these field parameter technique and uh, get the names, dynamic names. So the another scenario would be like, let's say I want to show something like this uh, current year sales minus previous year sales, right? So we can use this uh, technique to print uh, current year 2023 uh, sales minus 2022 sales. I hope you like the video. Please click the like button. Thanks for watching this video.